everyone, it's Jen here, the Diamond Painting Gamer. Very, very warm welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great today. It's the 1st of October. 1st of October, oh my gosh. Time is marching on, eh? Time is definitely mar marching on. So, um, today we have an unbagging. And this is going to be a really exciting unbagging. Um, because I don't know what's in here. Um, this is a, a mystery box, um, a blind bag, if you like, that I purchased from Amazon oh, a little while ago now. It's been sitting in my cupboard. Um, but yeah, there are 10 diamond paintings in here. I don't know what they are. Um, I think it cost me around about £19. And um, what I'll do is I'll go back through um, uh, to my... Uh, orders and I will have a little look. I will put the exact price up here. Um, but if it did cost me £19, we're, talk we're talking £2 a kit. So, yeah, <laughs> it was maybe maybe 30 even if it was £29, we're still talking £3 a kit. So, <clears throat> yeah, I wonder what we've got, man. I wonder what we've got. So why did I decide to do this? Um, well, if you have been uh, with my channel for a, a while now, for well, certainly for more than a year, um, you may remember that back in summer last year, so summer 2022, I uh, did uh, one of these videos, and I think I chose, I think I got a, a six pack of mystery kits or six pack of blind bag, and um, yeah, I worked them all up as well. Uh, which I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do um, work work them all up that I've done these um, blind bags uh, but anyway um, that aside um, that is my uh, most viewed um, video um, it has I don't look at the uh, YouTube analytics and numbers very very much very often it's not the reason why I do the channel however um, I couldn't help but notice that this that particular video had 4.7 thousand, 4.7k views. And when I dug a wee bit deeper uh, into the analytics, probably about a third of the people that have um, subscribed to this channel have done so through watching that video. So, you know, obviously you guys liked it. So why not do another one? Okay. So this 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 is this is for you. This is for you guys that found me because of the mystery blind bag, and why not do another one? <laughs> you obviously enjoyed the first one. So stop spraffing on Jennifer, and um, yeah, let's get to see what's in here. As I said, there are ten. Um, yeah, ten, and I will do them all. They they won't go in my stash drawer. Um, I will keep them out and I will uh, work through them and then I will show another video hopefully later on this year um, but I will show another video of them all completed obviously 10 paintings are just going to take me a wee bit of time because I've got other things that I'm doing as well so yes let us have a look obviously it's popped open here uh I haven't gone into it. You can see it's still sealed. And we'll take them out one at a time and look at them. So painting number one. Okay, 30 by 40. I've got a feeling they'll probably all be 30 by 40 rounds. Let's see if we've got a thumbnail. Oh, oh, that, that's quite pretty. This is quite pretty. We'll see how many duds we get. Um, obviously, um, that <laughs> the number of duds to the number of good ones might change <laughs> after I've done them. Oh, ouch. It is pretty heavy on the confetti, though. Eek. Look at that. Now, I do apologise if you hear any banging, actually. It's my husband. He's... Um, He's taking uh, stuff from the back garden to the front of the house where the car is that's going to the dump. 
Okay, so it's like a silhouette. Um, at first I thought it was a mermaid, um, but it, well, it might be a mermaid actually. This could possibly be her tail here, um, or just a lady. Um, but I'd like to think it's maybe the Little Mermaid. On a rock, some beautiful turquoises and some uh, pinks and uh, lilacs and ooh, very pale blues up in the sky. Okay, so I think um, Diamond Painting 1, number 1, we're off to a winner. Um, this is a very simple image. Um, I can't see any issues with... Um, how this is going to look after it oh wow it's even got a little sticker oh it's definitely a mermaid now that i can see it from the sticker if you look here that's definitely our tail so yes uh toolkit uh, i'm not going to bother talking about toolkits and stuff i'll just mention things that are maybe a little bit more different than your usual it does have a inventory sheet. It's pre-bagged. It's um, machine bagged drills, rounds. Doesn't look too bad. Um, drill field, nice and clear. DMC numbers. And we've got a mixture of letters, symbols and numbers for our key. So, um, first painting. Uh, definitely, definitely um, a, win a, a good one. A good one, in my opinion, so far. Right, okay, let's move this out of the way and do number three. Okay, number two is a bit darker and look at all those fours. Um, there's a lot of colour blocking. <laughs> so hopefully this will go, it'll be a quick one to do. Um, oh, wow. Again, I think I've hit good, guys. This one looks quite cute. Also looks like it's got quite a dark background, so mm. so we have so this is a thirty by thirty. Again, I'm not going to measure these. I'm expecting them not to be true to size, pretty much. Um, but the background's all the same color. It's all color blocked, and then the image itself is confetti. It's kind of like a little, I don't know what you would call that. Whatever it is, it's cute and fluffy and got big eyes. Again, a nice clear drill field, although it is quite dark. We do have dark letters on um, a dark background, so there could potentially be an issue with um, the air if you don't use either a, a light source or a, an under, a light pad underneath but uh, alphanumeric uh, no symbols 22 colors uh, no dmc on this though unfortunately and this looks like our background this is a gray blue um so yeah no no dmc on this so that's Got two packs of drills. No, it's just because there's so many of this number four, I think. Right, so I'm um, still uh, off to a very good start. Definitely. Mm. Okay, number three. Quite seasonal We're coming up to the Christmas period uh, we have Santa again this is another 30 by 30 um, I would imagine this is, will also be around yeah we do have guide circles by the looks of things on this one again I think this one is going to be a quick one we have a lot of color blocking on this okay, so with 20 colors we do have DMC on this one a nice clear drill field again stands of tool kit and a lot of black so um, interesting to see how this goes uh, I haven't seen any overly dusty drills so far but sometimes it can be difficult to um, tell through the package packaging um, 
I'm not going to be unpacking drills, <laughs> uh, otherwise I'll be here a very long time. I've got 10 paintings to go through. But, um, yes, I'm liking this one, definitely. Um, we do have some quite heavy mailing folds in some of these. That's not going to be a problem. I'm going to put them under something heavy um, and work on the less, the less creased one first. <laughs> but yeah, Santa, he looks cool. Again, nice simple image. I don't think this is going to be. Uh, um, I don't think this is going to look uh, messy when it's um, done. Uh, the Mary, although it's in cursive, it's just uh, oh, it's be Mary. Sorry, be Mary. Even though it's in cursive, it's um, it's quite distinct and clear. It's uh, obvious what it says. Um, We'll see how it goes because they've got different colours in the lettering here, so it's not all just one solid colour for the for the lettering, which sometimes can make it look a bit muddy. But because it's on a, a solid black background, it should be fine. But um, that's my only concern with that one is um, cursive lettering is uh, no, don't like it. <laughs> not on diamond paintings. Okay. So much rubbish to clear out the way. Okay, number four. Another one with a very la uh, with a heavily colour blocked background. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this looks very dark compared with what this is. I wonder what colour Y is. But this is my kind of picture. I do love cats. Let's have a look. But the actual canvas itself doesn't look like anything like what the thumbnail seems to be. Which is always a bit of a worry. But it is. Um, it looks a bit messy. Uh, basically because we've got that same Y colour uh, forming the background and also the side of the cat. So, at a first glance, this does not look like what it's supposed to be on the thumbnail at all. So, there's your thumbnail. But, yeah, that's all the same colour. Mm. Y is 647DMC. Uh, okay, let me open this up and see what Y is. I don't know off the top of my head what 647 is. Well, it's not Y, sorry. Oh, it's, it's the yen. It's the yen sign, which may actually end up being 939. Oh, no, it's 310. Okay, sorry, my apologies. It's the yen sign, so it's 310. The fact that it's blue on here, that's my other issue, is this is going to the background and the side is all going to be black but it's on a blue um, background here um, and it's round. So you're going to see the blue through the gaps in the round drills. Um, drills themselves look absolutely fine, but okay, this is the first one where I like the image. Don't get me wrong, I do like the image, but it is the first one that I'm a little bit concerned about how it's going to turn out. But yeah, 30 by 30. So we've got a few there first. A few 30 by 30s we've got in here now. So Okay, let's uh, get this cat out of the way. Right, okay, we're on to number five now, halfway through. This is another 30 by 30. Looks like it's mostly 30 by 30s in this. Um, so I might actually finish it quicker than I think. Again, we've got a colour block background. Ah, uh, haha. -ha. Now, I have this diamond painting. Um, uh, now, what do I have it in? That's the, that's the question. I can't remember. I need to go and look it out. I can't remember. I think I might have it in, as a partial or in special shapes. It's, it's, it was one of the first diamond paintings that, I've done, that I did. I don't think it was a full drill. Maybe surprised if it was and I think a lot of you have probably seen this already before um, 
on a variety of sites. It's the bumblebee on the florals. Again, it's a very simple image. Uh, the bee will look fine. Um, the florals themselves um, look initially a little bit muddy. There's not very much definition in there. So I don't think they are going to come out very well. It's going to look more like maybe a sort of an abstract, sort of splodgy type uh, background rather than distinct florals. But hopefully the bee will stand out fine. So yeah, can't really see any definition for his legs, but his body and his wings, yeah. Okay, again. I mean, it, it's it's fine enough. It's a standard one. I'm probably not as excited about it as I am about some of the other ones. Um, certainly not the cat. The cat, I'm actually quite excited to see how that will turn out, even though I'm very dubious about it. Okay, so this is probably the one that I'm maybe the least hyped about so far. <laughs> but yes, it is, uh, yeah, we've all seen this one before. Okay, well, there's the boat. Um, so as I said, you know, unless the toolkit is like got something extra special in it, we're, we're, we're not going to bother about toolkits. Okay, number six. Oh, we're back on a 30 by 40. Oh, this is very dark. It's a floral. It's uh, roses. So uh, here's the end. I can't find the ends. <laughs> okay, so white roses with a butterfly by the looks of things as well. So ooh, it's a bit dark for my liking. I do quite like florals. Um, it is very bent. Um, I will flatten these out. I will, I will straighten them out. I'll flatten them out off camera. Um, uh, we won't worry about wasting time doing that just now. Um, okay, this one is probably the first one that I've got some major problems with the drill field. I mean, it's clear enough, but the, what they've used in terms of um, symbols isn't that great. I mean, it's very, very faint. So, yeah. The, the lighter parts are fine, but these darker areas, we've got sevens, we've got, is that an equal sign or an E? I think it might be an E, I don't, oh gosh. No, I'm, I'm not liking, I'm not liking, the, I'm not liking the drill, the drill field on the background of this. It's not that easily read. I think it is an E. Um, I don't really use a light pad. I don't like using them, but I I think I've got a feeling I might have to break out the light pad for the background on this. Um, colour palette isn't fantastic. It's all dark and browns and stuff. Uh, not not my not my cup of tea. Um, I think the image will look fine when it's done. Again, it's quite a simple image. Uh, simple the image on the smaller sizes look you know you know fine, but yeah. I think um, I think this one. Uh, my initial thoughts is um, this one's not going to be fun uh, to diamond paint. I think I'm going to have issues with um, the the drill field and the printing of the symbols on the drill field on this one. Um, but as, as a picture, it's 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 pretty enough. Pretty enough. Anyway, let's do number one to number seven. So number seven we have, okay, we have another 30 by 40. Oh, it's a landscape, don't like landscapes. Um, look, colour block, oh my God, look at all the colour blocking on that. Nice, cute, clear drill field though. <laughs> and, whoops, the paintings come out, but the drills have stayed down there, that's fine. Um, oh, it's a very, very, very stiff canvas. 
Oh, this is going to take no time to do at all. It's very basic. Um, I, don't, I don't, don't really like it. It's very blocky. Um, landscapes aren't my favourite thing to do anyway. Um, I think if you have a landscape on... <sighs> If you have a landscape any smaller than, say, a 50 by 60, it's not worth it. Really not worth it. You don't get the detail. Everything looks blocky. It's not nice. And, um, yeah, this falls into that category, I'm afraid. Um, <coughs> don't like it. Not only is it my cup of tea, it's... Um, no, no. Don't like it at all. I think this is probably the first one where I don't actually like the actual image itself you know even though the b as you know is, is is a bit you know the florals are going to be a bit muddy the b image itself is that is is fine you know it's, it's a it's a cute little b you know it's a very popular image uh, this one on the other hand no <laughs> no <laughs> so let's get rid of that <laughs> we said about that the better um Apologies if you like landscapes and that's your thing. Um, I do actually have a couple of Chuck Pinsons and I've got an Abraham Hunter in my stash as well, but uh, no, they're not my cup of tea. Oh, we're back on Christmas, I think. Oh my goodness, isn't he? Oh, cute. Oh, oh it's quite cool, actually, some of these are Christmas ones. The second Christmas one. Again, I think this one is, has a... Uh, you see quite a lot all over the place. It's a 30 by 40 and it's Rudolph. A lot of white. <laughs> a lot of white colour blocking. A lot of 5200 in the background. Oh, he's adorable. Um, whites and pinks and reds. And yeah, I, I can't really say much more about this. This is going to look really, really cool. Um, I've seen this image in a lot of places it's uh, 22 colors it's dmc numbers uh alphanumeric most of them are um alphanumeric most of them have dmc numbers um that have unbagged so far anyway not really much of a difference there excellent very very happy like this one a lot right let's get rid of you rudolph Two left. Get the both there. Oh no, one's a thirty by forty. Okay, so this looks like a very Disney uh, castle-like fireworks in the background on the clouds. I've got a feeling this might not turn out very well. It's thirty by forty. The image is um, not simple enough, I think. I think it would probably need to be a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, I've got extra plastic cover. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of as I feared in a way. It's uh, uh, this, I will actually measure this because this is a big wide gap. Hold on. I've got a feeling this is way, way smaller. Um. Oh gosh, yeah, 24, because normally these things are like 25 by 35, but I thought the, the border looked really big on this. So that's 24 by 34, so it's a, it's a centimetre smaller. Again, you're not going to get much detail in the castle here. The fireworks themselves look a little bit blotchy. Obviously, we've got um Minnie, Mickey Mouse outline here. Um you know you can tell what it is but i don't think it's going to look that great it's going to be a bit blocky um lacking detail and uh, the fireworks are kind of splodgy um but we'll see what it looks like when it's drilled up um we've got a decent number of colors on this actually it doesn't actually list him in oh we've got a a schematic in here it looks oh there's over 30 colors um 
DMCs. Alpha. <gasps> I was about to say uh, numbers, letters, and symbols, and I've just spied one of the symbols. Okay, can you see that one? Nine nine seven. Oh, nine seven seven. Okay, you can decide what you're going to call that. I know what I'm calling it. Right, last one, last but not least. Ooh, this is a confetti one by the looks of things. Lots of blues. Oh, there's another landscape. Ouch. Ouchy, ouch. This landscape's a little bit nicer, prettier, I think, than the other one. Um, but, uh, again, not quite my cup of tea, and I think it's not going to turn out well initial feelings is that it's not going to turn out well um but it's a lot more confetti in this which bodes well the canvas is very soft quite thin not the best quality um there's that symbol again okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just saying just saying right <laughs> Um, schematic in the bag. I think it's the same, looks like it's the same company that did the Disney Castle and the previous one because it's the same kind of layout. Uh, we've got a um, key down here, but it's very basic. Um, a lot of confetti. So it could be, it might turn out better than I originally think, but I'm not holding much hope. Um, no, no, you know me, not a massive fan of landscapes, 30 by 40, and again, I think this is going to be way smaller, I think this is going to be 24 by 30, uh, 24 by 34 again, yeah, yeah, 24 by 34 again, so... It, it's the usual story. Uh, landscapes, in my opinion, should not be done in this size. Um, and I think, you know, people who are fans of landscapes would probably agree with me. You need to go, to, to do a landscape justice, you need to go big. You need to go big. <laughs> anyway, we've got some hits, we've got some misses. Um, let's pull them back and I will kind of go through them in reverse order, I think of how I like them. Right. Okay. Um, okay, let's pull them back. In reverse order. Oh, I don't know which is last, I'll tell you that one. Uh, this. <laughs> this is my least favourite. Uh, don't like it at all. Um, no. <laughs> uh, blocky. Mm. Not my cup of tea in terms of um, content either, of, um, uh, not content, sorry, uh, subject. Okay, I think uh, it's kind of joint between uh, this landscape here and uh, the Disney Castle. Probably the landscape, actually. Um, just purely because it's you know the size just doesn't do it justice um this one you could probably you know is maybe not that you would get away with it in this size but apologies um i had to stop my husband shouted at me well it didn't shout at me but he <laughs> was uh talking to me through the door which involved shouting so <laughs> uh anyway i've got <laughs> i think what i was saying is i think this this does better in a 30 by 40 size than this does so that's why this is ninth and this is eighth. Okay, let's go through the other ones. Oh, this one, I think. Um, I think, actually, I'm now looking at the picture. I think the picture looks quite stretched. Like, you know, you, you see what I mean? It's kind of like elongated a little bit. Um, to fit the 30 by 40 shape, maybe a square would have been better. 
but um, you know I, I like 40 by 40 or 30 definitely not 30 by 30 but I think this one and I think this is more down to the um, the colors and the the drill field not being that great uh, we will go now I think with the B as I said I've done this before I can't remember what I've done it in um, I think the background the florals is just going to look blotchy it's not going to look like flowers so we'll go with that one then funnily enough I'm going to go with the cat's going to sit quite high basically because I like the image I am intrigued to see how this is going to turn out this is this is why this is featuring a little bit higher um I'm, I'm very yeah I don't know how it's going to look um I'm quite uh as I said I'm quite uh, intrigued I think this might be the first one that I do because I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to see how it turns out uh next um I think we might go with the mermaid um this is quite sweet it's very um very confetti up here again this is another one it's a nice simple image that's going to turn out fine down here interesting to see how this part here turns out um it's got a very weird a symbol it's got like a 10 or something just spotted it there's like a 10 with a little dot in the middle or very weird i've never don't think i've ever seen that symbol before bizarre okay um then i think uh i think this one uh perhaps it, it looks cute looks quite dark uh but yeah this this one will turn out fine i've got no qualms about this one at all second place i think is santa i think we can all agree that's going to be fine <laughs> we have no issues there uh, probably the cursive writing is maybe the only area that i think mm. But because it's against the black background, it should be okay. And I suppose it's kind of no surprise that number one, I think my most favourite one out of this, and that I think will turn out the best um, initially, looking at the canvases, is going to be the reindeer. It's going to be Rudolph. Uh, you know, you can see for yourself that uh, the rendering's pretty good for a budget canvas, and uh, you can see all the detail there. You never know. However, I've ranked these canvases in the order that I like them. Oh, there's a drill stuck to this one. Um, I've ranked these canvases in the order that I like them. <clears throat> but you all know that you never know how things are going to turn out until you get the drills on. The colour, for example, <laughs> could uh, throw this way down. If, if, if the colouring and the shading is off, this may go down in the list. Um, if the if this works out um this may go up in the list you never know you never know how it how it'll go so I'll, what i'll do is i will over the course of the next well, couple of months or so i will uh, work these up it will probably take me two or three months uh, i'm doing other projects as well other lots of other things that i'm wanting to do um i will show you these all completed and then I will rank them again in the order of which I like them. Um, so yeah, that may change, <laughs> but I'm fully expecting it to change. So anyway, what do you think of uh, this haul, this blind bag of mystery mixed diamond paintings from Amazon? As I said, I can't remember the exact price, but we're probably talking somewhere between two and three pounds per canvas so that's pretty good value uh no duplicates nothing absolutely horrendous um i mean you know even this is yeah you can tell what it is uh, but uh, yeah, it's not until we get the drills out and we start placing them, we see whether or not the drills are, you know, co what the drill quality is like and what the finished image would look like. So yeah, what are your favourites from this um, 
this little haul which ones do you like which ones um are do you dislike um which ones like me are you interested and uh sort of like excited to see how they're going to turn out for me it's the cat i'm really interested to see how that one's going to turn out um so that being said um i am going to love you and leave you have a, a amazingly awesome rest of your day thank you very very much for taking the time um to um uh, look at these paintings with me and i uh i shall see you all in the next one and keep a look out two or three months down the line hopefully before the end of the year i'll have all these finished and uh yeah we'll do a part two okay cheerio Thank you.